today you're getting an inside look at some incredible homes for sale in America's finest city. Let's find your perfect home. I'm Claire McKee, this is On The Block. My next guest is Debbie Krishbaum with Coldwell Banker. Debbie, come on over. There's my girl. Hi. Good to see you. So good to see you. Oh, such a great time. I love oh, when we're at Escondido because mm -hmm. I know I'm going to see your face because we're not too far from you. Cheers. Agreed. Cheers. Happy New Year, by Thank the way. Thank you. Happy New Year. Mm. It's going to be a great great year oh my god don't you feel that in your bones like genuinely like this is the year I do and actually as I was opening all my Christmas presents and all that stuff I kept thinking okay let's get through the holidays so that we can get on to 2020 right yeah. I was ready for it too and you're in that weird limbo land where you're like is, is anybody doing anything like what day is it I don't That's know what I, I thought was ready too. to get back in the routine yeah totally. so here we are here we are yes, and ready to go. where are we going with your listing today oh my gosh so Carlsbad San Marcos, you know, is kind of my, it's my hood. It it's is. the bread and butter. It's kind of where I, where things are. This particular property is in San Marcos. It's near Cal State San Marcos. Okay. And it is a charming two-story house, 2,000 square feet, and very walking distance to so much from a lake yeah. to shopping to stores to okay. trails. It's very cool. You know, somebody just hit me with the fact earlier that San Marcos is like the number one like suburban neighborhood to live in in San Diego County, and I did not know that. I'm actually impressed to say that when they put the new mayor in town, a friend of mine, by the way, so no politics aside, but... Uh, <laughs> but I'm in with the mayor. <laughs> but I'm in with the mayor. But she, I feel like she has just really exponentially improved the town just in the last year or so. I love that. Yeah. So if we're buying into this neighborhood, we're buying into that suburbia lifestyle, the walkability, anything yes. else we should know? You know, actually schools. It's mm -hmm. funny, as a parent, mine are all high school and college, but the elementary, the middle, the high school, all the public schools that service this particular property, top notch. Awesome. Great. People want to hear that. It gives them that comfort at night that their students or, or their kids are yeah. not only being educated, but it keeps the property value high too. It does, whether you have kids or not, because this particular right. house could be great for an empty nester, it could be great for a professional couple, mm -hmm. single. It's close enough to Cal State San Marcos with four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. Technically, it would make a good rental property too. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you just love your kids so much and you're sending them to school around Kitty the corner. Kitty condo. I mean. Not a bad option. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we've got the neighborhood down. What about bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage? Just sort of paint that picture for us. Absolutely. So very well-maintained two-story home. Little over 20, actually it's 2,026 square feet. Okay. All the four bedrooms are up. So the great thing I think is you can kind of have the social area downstairs, mm -hmm. um, a decent sized living room and uh, dining room area. Sure. And then you walk into the family room. The kitchen is really charming and it looks off to the backyard. Backyard's very private. There is Craven Road that's behind it, so there's no house behind it, okay. which is great. Privacy. Absolutely. Now, the people that are really noise sensitive, this may not be the house for you. Okay. So it's more for somebody that likes the privacy over, you know, complete silent area. Okay. But the thing that I like about it is we actually live in a house where there is a street behind. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that you can speak at a little bit of a volume and you don't feel like your neighbors are hearing you either. Yes. So kind of a hidden benefit. If it's too quiet, I don't know if I could live there. Exactly, <laughs> me too. I'd be getting kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> what else should we know about this Same. home, Debbie? You know, um, I would say the other thing probably would be that being when we mentioned Cal State San Marcos, mm -hmm. it would literally be probably four blocks to get to Cal State San Marcos. Oh. So if you have a student, if you're a teacher, you know, if you've got, you know, family members that should be students. Yeah. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> hint, hint. There's, there's uh, great benefits in town for that. Okay. And uh, so I would say, oh, and, and great commuting both to the I-5 and the 15. Uh, four blocks, you really got me. I yeah. thought you were gonna say it was like a four minute drive, but know, you could so walk. Close. Oh, did I say the price or is that here no, already? No, what's the price, huh? $659,900. Okay. Seller's even willing to pay up to $5,000 in closing costs. Okay. And that I just found on, the, on a call right before I came up here. So that's brand new okay. breaking news. So breaking news, $5,000. That's amazing. Kind of yeah. I love a motivated seller. That's a win-win for everyone. It They're is. ready to get out. They want somebody to enjoy the home. Let's get some people in and see it. Love it. Thanks so much, Debbie. It was amazing to love see you. Love it. Good to see Take you. Take care.